Hey, what's going on, DeWitt? This is Holden. I said I was going to shoot you over this video, and in this video, I just basically want to show you a few things that I found that I think we could really improve upon that will really increase the traffic to your business, beating out your competition online. Um, everybody searches for what they want in Google, right? And if you can't get found in the search results, you're really just missing out on a lot of potential customers that are out there looking for you. And a lot of times, the only hesitation I see that business owners have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they don't really know who the experts are and who they're not. So I found by giving out this free information, you know, this plan of attack that you can use and implement yourself has really resulted in a lot of business owners just coming back to me and saying, hey, Holden, I could use your help. So uh, after this video, I know we've got a chat next week. We can discuss uh, some of the things that I talk about and maybe a few more things. So let's jump right in. I got your website pulled up right here. Now, when it comes to Google optimization, the first thing that Google actually looks at is content. They want to see 1,500 words of content alone on your homepage just to be optimized. Now, I have this tool here called SEO Quake. This is a free tool. This is something you can pick up yourself. It just pulls some metrics from your page, but it shows me you've got about 450 words of content on your homepage. So you're falling short of that 1,500 that Google really likes, right, for optimization. So just boosting that up would really get you, uh, get you ahead of the game. Now, the next thing that you want to look at as far as content goes is something called keywords. Keywords are anything that someone searches for to find you, right? Any of the services that you provide, whatever they may be, open sell, closed sell, uh, attic, you know, uh, crawl space, those exact words that people are searching, they need to be included in the content on your homepage. Google likes to match what people are searching for with the most relevant content out there. And if that's not on your homepage, they're going to skip over you and go to the next guy, right? Now, this is the next thing I want to show you. This is called the local map pack. This is a great way to get traffic in your area. This is how you get found locally for your services. So if you don't want to be driving two hours away and you want to collect traffic in your area, you need to get into this map pack and be up here at the top. To get into these top three, what you have to do is get your name, address, and phone number out there as many times as possible into as many directories as possible. That seems like Yellow Pages, Facebook, Yelp. If your competition has 50 of these things, we should go out and get 150. That way we stay up at the top and we don't have to worry about getting boosted off the second, third, or even off this thing, right? Now down here, this is the organic area. This is where, you know, the first page of Google is about 70%, 60 to 70% of people will click on just the first page and then it significantly drops down for these pages. So most people don't go to the second, third, or fourth page. Now to get in this organic area, what you gotta do is kind of look at Google itself like as a giant popularity contest. There's these things out there called backlinks, which go from one website to another website all over the web. And the more of these links that you have linking from other websites to your website, the more popular your website seems to Google. You start, they start seeing you as an authority because everything is pointing in your direction. They say, there's a lot going on here and they start boosting you up to the top. Now, not all links are created equal. You can't go get backlinks from websites that have nothing to do with your, your industry, right? They have to do with insulation. So you couldn't go get a, a backlink from a pizza shop and link it to your insulation business. Google's smart, they'll know the difference and they'll deduct your points for that. So this right here is a tool that we use in our industry uh, called Arefs and I pay about $1,000 a month for it, but it's it's not perfect, but it's the, the most powerful tool that we use in our industry to see you know what's going on with someone's website as far as the traffic, why the, where the traffic is coming from and why they're getting that traffic. So right here, I'm gonna show you a few things. Right now it shows me that you've got about zero people on average uh, coming to your website a month and that you have three keywords that uh, people are searching for to find you. And when I mean coming to your website, like people might find it through other avenues, but through organic search results, you're getting found zero times. Now, this is how many of those backlinks that you have linking back to your website 28 times. So this only transfers power once, so you really have about four backlinks. Um, this over here kind of shows me your URL rank, which is the quantity of links that you have. And this one shows me the quality of those links. So your link quality, although you have four, is very low quality. They're probably spammy or just not really relative to your industry, which is giving you this low score. So this guy, Ecomaster LLC, he's the first one that comes up after Home Advisor when I type in insulation in Raleigh. And this is one of the cities besides Durham that I noticed that had a ton of traffic. So we can take a look. This guy gets found through search results about 101 times a month. And he's got 280 keywords that people are searching for. And then additionally, he's got uh, 23 of those websites linking back to his website 250 times. And you can see that his URL rank is, is at 19 and his domain rank is at 11. Now these two numbers, they should be as close together as possible. A ratio of like one to one is, is 
the best and you want them to be as high as possible, still maintaining that ratio. So this guy is still very easily beatable and I think it'd be easy for you to collect this traffic. I'm just gonna show you real quick some of the keywords that this guy is ranking for. So if you go down here, you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. Over here kind of just shows insulation in Raleigh. This gets searched 30 times a month and it's this is your keyword difficulty. This is basically how difficult it is to rank. What we try to aim for is things that are zero to five, but um, it takes a little, the only difference is it takes a little bit longer to rank these higher difficulties. So you can see that one there, Insulation Raleigh. This one is a good one. Uh, 40 people search this a month, three, three difficulties, super easy to rank for. Added Insulation in Raleigh, uh, 20 people search for a month and super easy to rank for. So you can see there's definitely a ton of search volume around here that we can target that would allow you to, to start taking some of the traffic away from this guy and bring it over to your website. So, hey, I hope this was helpful. And like I said, uh, we'll chat a little bit more next week, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that I was looking at. So thanks for your time, and I look forward to talking to you later. Have a good one.